All right, welcome to automation, and we're going to mess with some cars today because now you can export stuff to Beam NG Drive, which I attempted to record earlier, but the frame rate was horrible, so I got rid of that. So we're just going to live stream this because this game is very lightweight in terms of what it requires. Oh, so let's make a new car. I think we're going to make ourselves a minivan today. That's not a minivan. That's not a minivan. That's a van. The heck are the minivans? People mover? Really? That's what they call minivans? This is a game made in... Oh, here we go. <laughs> I guess I gotta go people mover for this. Perhaps. That's really kind of a weird looking pickup. Oh, jeez. They really don't have a... Well, that's kind of minivanish, I guess. I'm debating if I want to just call this a minivan and be done with it. Alright, let's do this. Partial aluminum. Let's make the... Let's go ahead and make this a very basic... Uh... Let's do... Monocoque, because that's basically a unibody. Let's do corrosion resistant steel. Let's make this a front wheel drive. And what do I want the front suspension to be? McPherson strut? Sure. So you have a lower arm and then a spring and shock a strut upper bit here. Uh, I'm not making this rear wheel drive, so I could probably go semi-trailing arm. It's funny it has the cutout for uh, differential in case you decide to use it. But it's going to be front wheel drive. Alright, next. Let's do 60 degree V6. You could do 90 degree if you want. Actually, yeah, you know what? Let's do 90 degree V6. All right, so let's make the block out of cast iron. Let's do let's do an old style push rod. So you have your um, camshaft sits here and drives the valve train. Can I get there for that? Oh, I don't have anything else selected yet, so I can't really do that. So let's make it aluminum heads. All right, so right now I have a three liter. And if I change the bore size, valve flow, better valve line. Okay, so let's go ahead and bore this out some. Let's make it a three point. Maybe we can just do that. Three point eight. Sure, let's do that. So I have a 3.8 90 degree V6 with no VVL, aluminum heads, push rod. Yep, it's a pretty old school engine. It's not going to be very fancy. Cast iron crank, cast iron rods. Let's do hyperthetic pistons. All right, let's see what this does here. Compression is fairly normal. Chem profile is okay. We're not going to... Well, let's do VVT on here. Alright. Naturally aspirated. Let's do multi-point EFI. And let's do a standard intake. Here we go. Hey, sweet. So there's my fuel injectors, the fuel rail, intake plenum and all that. That almost looks like a cold air intake. Regular gas. Uh, let's let's see if I can uh, handle 6,000 RPM. So let's do short cast. There we go. Short cast exhaust. We'll do a single. No valves. We'll do a high flow three-way. Let's do 
baffled. All right, so we're knocking pretty bad. So that's killing power at that point. So I need to go back to fuel. All right, we go, perfect. So this is gonna need premium fuel, no problem. In fact, I could probably advance timing until I get knocking. Yep, and it will back off a bit. There we go, perfect. So it makes a bunch of power uh, at the low end and then kind of chokes itself off. So let's see here. I could actually increase my red line. I get valve float. So okay, so let's raise it to 6600 RPM because I don't have valve float at that point. How's breathing? Exhaust sucks. All right, so we gotta change our exhaust. So we gotta change the diameter. All right, look at that power. It's odd how it changes the, oh well. You can absolutely murder your, uh, your engine by choking the snot out of it. That should be good. Actually, we'll go a little bit. So I, I gain horsepower, but I lose uh, low end torque. That sounds fine. All right, so let's test this thing and see what we get. All right, and you can do manual if you want. Go to the red line. Perfect. We'll do that one because that's an actual proper minivan looking thing, I guess. All right, we don't need to... Eh. All right. Let's make it... No. <laughs> All slots make it... Why do I have trim pieces that are... There we go. Good. Actually, I could make some of the trim... That looks pretty hideous. Uh, what we got for bumpers here? There we go. That looks pretty ugly. I like it. All right, so I really don't need to mess with this, but we can go ahead and do so anyway because this is part of the game. So let's determine the grill. Let's go for no chrome. And it kind of snaps to, it snaps to the center line like that. We can make it a little bit bigger, lower it down a bit. How does that look? Pretty boring, pretty sedate. Okay, it needs lights. It doesn't really have any character to it now until you put lights on it. So how about we do, I'll have to, change how those are angled. Yeah, there we go. That just looks a little funny. It's like it's missing something here. Oh, I could just go like that. Alright, there we go. There's our front. But sir, we have no door handles. Well, let's add some door handles. Well, add um, right under this little lip here. Yep, and we'll add some right here. All right, so there's door handles. So oh, we need tail lights. I think I'll go right here. It's pretty standard, I guess. Uh, what tail light do we want? Is it pretty silly? We'll go with these. Go right on the edge. And we'll bigify that and then slide that up a little bit. So, so now I got nice big reverse markers. Can't really see the turn indicators from the sides, but that's okay. We're going to go We're gonna go like this. So now I got side markers for that. 
And I need a center high mount stoplight, so I have to find where that went. There we go. Can I put you up here on the, on the, yep, I can. That almost looks like it belongs there. Huzzah. All right, so now we add a door handle for the back. All right, perfect. What else are we missing? We're missing mirrors. Need to be able to see. We'll put these on the door. And they're really tiny, so you have to bigify them a lot. Nice big mirrors. Alright. What else are we missing here? We're missing license plates. We need some license plates. Uh, let's do WAP plate. Oops, you select an item that's already on there. It's like, what do you want to do with that? I was like, I don't want to do anything with it. Yeah, it's pretty boring looking, but that's okay. All right, so let's add an antenna. Can I put you on there? That makes sense. Yeah. Actually, you know what? We're going to put you on the passenger side. Like how my truck is in real life. For some silly reason. Alright. So we're going to do transverse front wheel drive. We're going to do automatic, 5 speed. Let's do geared LSD. Radials. Long life. Oh, I can make the back tires really wide. I'll do alloy rims. So let's do solid disc, two pistons. We'll do solid disc, uh, one piston in the back. No under tray, no cooling. Alright, well that's a people mover, so we gotta put some seats in there. So we'll do seven seater, so two, two, and... I think you can actually do... <laughs> Bench front seats, they suck, they really do. Okay, we'll do a standard interior. We'll do a standard infotainment system. Hydraulic steering with ABS. Let's do advanced to, uh, safety features. It really doesn't tell you what all that does, but whatever, we're just gonna run with it anyway. So let's do... semi-active sway bars. Alright, so now it's going to tell me a whole bunch of stuff here. Brake fade, rear dampers, handling tends to understeer. Uh, okay, so I can go back to wheels. Let me see. Adding front grip, so we can go like that. Let's just make it 225s all around. There we go, that fixed that problem. So brake fade. All right, so it said front brake grip is low. Let's bump that to 220, still low. 240. Let me see, same about rear. Okay, so let's, let's do 180. Still low. All right, let's do 60. Oh yeah, holy crap. 300. I still got brake fade, holy snap. <laughs> Alright, it's not telling me about the front anymore. Let's do, let's go up to 280, here we go. Nope, still doesn't like that. Well, let's just do two pistons then. So tell me now. Alright, perfect. Rear dampers are hard. Alright, how's that do? Oh, now it updates the brakes. Alright, so let's just go ahead and... 
roll angle is high. Where is my roll angle at? That's under suspension. So it tells me my roll angle off 5 degrees. Okay, it tells me my cornering 74.74 G's. Alright, drivability 100%. Sporting is not very sporty, but it's a family car. So right now we're getting pretty good percentages here for uh, handling and all that. So alright, gearing was a problem, right? Short gearing. Let's go ahead and fix that a little bit. Alright, so no issues now. So for a people mover, this actually isn't doing too badly. All right, see what the markets look like here. So the country of Gasmia, low sportiness, who cares? Why is sportiness a penalty? So it's a pretty good family car here. So that's that country. So let's see what family premium. Oh yeah, not very sporty. I could improve the drivetrain and make it a sportier car. This country does not like it much at all. All these people like it. Very competitive in the family premium category. I didn't even put a premium material in this thing. Family utility. So a couple nations that I guess in this mythological world like this car. Short gearing again. Alright, so it tells you basically uh, fuel economy. So I'm 16 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers, so it's burning. Oh, crap, I gotta do math. This game doesn't do English units that I know of, so 4 liters is a gallon, and 100 kilometers is about 60 miles, so 4 gallons in 60 miles. Wow, oh, that's not very good. <laughs> That's not very good at all, guys. It's like 15 miles a gallon. Well, it's a big stinking V8. Alright, so here's what we do here. We export this car to BeamNG Drive. Wow, that ride height looks a bit silly. Stop! Stop! Go away! I gotta go fix that. That ride height is not good. I'm raising my uh, sportiness, or as I'm starting to impact drivability somewhat. Alright, so... I didn't see what the sportiness PTL, uh, penalty was, but whatever. Alright, so let's go ahead and... See, I have no issues now. Yay, I fixed the car. Actually, I made... Oh my gosh, it crashed! No! I guess I'll fix that later. Uh, I'll catch you all later. We'll test it on BeamNG Drive so we get. Bye!